Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're gonna, instead of getting your last known location or your current location, I'd like to register location updates, meaning that I would like to tell the, the location service to send me location updates as the location of the user changes, right? So it's not only one location, it's gonna send you location updates, right? All right, so how do we do that? I looked at the uh, request location updates. So basically we need to call request location updates from the fuse location client but in before we do that we need to tell the location uh, uh, the, the client uh, the, the fuse location client what kind of locations are we interested in right so basically let me change the code a little bit that we had instead of this we're going to say uh, trigger or get uh, or set up location updates location updates right so I'm going to do something like that Control C and then everywhere it's being used, I'm going to have it instead of get less location, right? And then similarly here also get less location. It's exactly the same code that we had in the previous video, but I am going to change things a little bit here. So basically what we are going to do here is in order to do location updates, what you need to do is first you need to create something called a location request. Location request, which specifies what kind of locations are you interested in? What's the granularity of these locations? How often these locations happen and so on. Location request, also done through a builder. So new location request builder, builder. And possibly we have to import something here. Oops. So location request dot builder, here it is. Okay, and then basically here it needs the interval, yani, um, the interval in milliseconds. So how often you will get these updates if they happen within that internal. And then also said granularity, granu same story. So basically granularity, let's say fine. And then set granularity, set priority, priority to priority dot uh, high accuracy. And then also uh, set minimum distance so basically what's the minimum distance is going to trigger an update so let's say 100 meters which is very very small distance so basically these settings are usually based on the kind of application that you're trying to build are you trying to build a driving application a jogging application just a simple tracking application so these dictate th these should be set up based on what kind of application you're trying to build so basically you create a location request right and then you create location settings you set up the location settings of the uh, you create a location settings request for the location settings request here it is new same story location it's done through the a builder location settings builder and basically you say add location request and you pass on the location request to here and then you build so basically what you are doing here is that these are the kind of locations that you are uh, expecting the quality and what the granularity is what's the priority how often they happen so you basically you want to change the settings of the gp of the uh, geolocation system that you have or location system to that so then after you create a location settings request then we say lo settings uh, client we create a settings client settings client and here's location services dot get a settings client here it is and then basically settings client dot check so basically before you can use this 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 location request you need to check to see if the settings of the system allow you to do that so basically settings clients and you pass it the setting client and then you do add uh sorry you you pass it the sorry the location the location request and then you say add on complete listener new on complete listener so basically that's the on complete listener and then the on complete listener will return a task if the task is successful right dot is successful then everything is good this means that the settings that the um, the setting the request that you have um, uh, and then passing these rec the location request to the settings this means that these settings could be satisfied with the system right now if it is not satisfied then you we need to uh, resolve this situation and from the android documentation they tell you that you need to get the exception check to see if the exception has a specific type and then it allows you to do some resolution so let's say if task dot get exception uh, instance of uh, resolvable re resolvable API exception okay then you can do something here 
else will do something else here and basically uh, if that's the case then you cast it to a resolvable api exception so here it is you call it um uh, resolvable api exception equal uh, this one and task dot get exception right so here it is and then uh, resolvable exception dot start resolution and activity is uh, main activity main activity dot this and then uh, request so basically you need an integer here to go which is the request code so we'll do uh, a private final uh, integer a static static integer integer and this is the request uh, request uh, check uh, code all of this stuff is just setting right so let's say equals 1001 something like that okay here it is and this becomes uh, here so basically that's all what we're trying to do and then uh, this one needs to be surrounded by a try catch i did surrounded by a try catch <coughs> okay here we are okay cool oops control z control z control z control x put it here okay good so basically all what we're doing here is just checking checking to see if these settings can be satisfied by the system if not there is a resolution that's provided by the system now if the task is successful then this is the time to trigger the location updates so now the look for the location updates to happen we don't need all of that stuff okay we don't need all of this <coughs> okay so in order to do location updates all we have to do is the fuse location then uh you just request location updates so you would just simply say request location updates and you could see that here it is this is what we're trying to do you have a location request then a location callback and then a looper so basically we need a location callback so i'll just create a location callback i'll call it location callback equal new it's an interface that you will have to implement and here is the uh, on location result and here it is so basically here is the location callback now all what i have to do is request request location update i have already the location request which is here mm -hmm. here is the location request and then i have a location callback and then looper is you just get it looper uh, uh, you get it through uh, just specifying looper dot get I mean looper so looper looper what get me looper and that triggers the location request so this will initiate location requests so now what's going to happen here is i can come here and just say log d and i'm going to print out my uh, location result just for you to see what we're doing here and demo. here it is so this triggers location updates so basically all what's going to happen is here we create a setting uh, we create a request location request what kind of locations we are interested in and here we uh, create a settings request we check to see if the setting request is all good if it's all good we just request location updates this is the location request and this is the callback the callback is going to be called every time your location changes so let's try to run this and see if this is going to work so let's run it mm -hmm start location updates I'm precise allow while using the application now i open up here i go to the locket and let's say we go and say i'm interested in demo you see here the location result is triggering something something got triggered right so now we go back here now let's say i want to go to charlotte charlotte north carolina set my location you see my location did change now if i zoom in a little bit let's say i start to walk you know and we set it up to 100 100 meters you see here we set up the settings to 100 meters so now let's start to walk set the location you see this seems to be not enough so we go in set location here it is you see i'm i'm walking now set location set location you see my location is being it's triggering location updates here it is so possibly we want to make it in meters not 100 meters, maybe 10 meters if you want walking so basically here we are and you see that the location updates are being triggered here 
Now, how to cancel location updates is very straightforward. To cancel location updates, you just, in, if you want to cancel location updates, you just say fuse the location client, don't uh, remove location updates, and you need to pass it the location callback. Okay? So basically, the location callback is what we just created here, which is this one. So I can pass it the location callback if you need to cancel the location updates. And maybe when the user closes the app or when the user when the app uh, when the user clicks a button or goes to another screen you can disable location updates using this all right please let me know if you have any questions thank you